Hi guys, yeah it's me, again, second video of the day, yeah, two videos in one day, oh, oh spoiling, right. right, this is a quick video, um, for my entry into John Moore's Operation Torch group build, um, based on the Allied forces landing in North Africa, and the events surrounding that. It's starting, the actual group build is starting on Wednesday, I think it is, the 1st of March, and ends uh, whatever day the 31st of May is. Um, so yeah, so this is my entry, uh, the British Long Range Desert Group Command Car, North Africa, with seven figures. Now, I mean, on the box, the front, yeah, you've got five, but there are two other figures inside because this is the kit. It's the Tamiya kit. And it comes with the original figures from the Tamiya kit, which was a driver and a, a guy operating a machine gun. But this kit, you also get the Master Box Long Range Desert Group figures. Um, so yeah, so that's it. On the side of the box here, you've got the um, car. Um, same picture on the cover. You've got bits of equipment. That's a picture of what it could look like when it's built by a professional and not by me. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd say that before someone else does. Anyway, right, so here we go. That's the um, the box art. So we open the box. Uh, you've got the destructions with the on the picture there. And if you can see that, the two original figures that you get with it from Tamiya. Um, usual Tamiya destructions. Uh, oh, these, are the, these are the Japanese ones so yeah typical Tamiya instructions in English not a lot to it um, it's very very sim basic so yeah with the um, they can have it in camouflage painting middle stone and light blue or you can have it in just the desert yellow. Um, so that's some of the instructions there. Uh, talking about stretching sprue. Oh, and as a correction, they've put in follow this instruction in place of the corresponding step three on page two. So a quick look at that while we're uh, we've got the instructions out. Page two. Step three. So basically, we're following that now. Well, it's the same one. Ah, yeah. It's saying that it's got to go that way, but it said it's going that way. All right, okay. So anyway, get rid of them. That's that. So that's the destructions. There you go with your uh, master box uh, figures. And a little bit of uh, equipment. I'm not going to open the bags yet. But typical Tamiya uh, figures. Not Tamiya figures, sorry. Master Box figures. As I find with most Master Box figures, they're quite crisp and sharp. Nice beard details on the figures. So, yeah, so that's the figures. Um, stowage. Lots of stowage to go on there, but I mean it's typical Tamiya. Does it give you a date? Don't know if it gives you a date on the box actually. Saying that, well, according to this, it's 2013, but this is the rebox, isn't it? Cause it's got the the um, what you call it figures on. Can I find one on this one? Date stamp. No, there's no date on them, but there you go. It's got rubber tyres as well. Oh well, there you go. So yeah, normal, your typical Tamiya. Typical Tamiya. So, excuse the noise if you can hear any background noise. We've got one of the grandkids here. And um, the missus, because as I said in the other video, the daughter's gone for, she's gone into hospital to have a 
grandchild, another child, another child, which will be our grand, not not her child, but grandchild number, th child number three for her, grandchild number ten for us. So. And these are the uh, instructions for the uh, master box figures. So yeah, that's that. And there's their decals. So that is it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to open the bags yet. I'll open it when I start. Um, so yeah, that is my uh, entry into the John Moore Operation Torch Group Build. Okay, guys. Right, that's it from me then. I'll see you on the flip side. Take it easy, guys. Enjoy yourself. Bye.